Good morning from the Five World Explorers. We're having strawberries at the airport. I wonder where we're going today. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. carry all of his bags but we're working on that. Welcome to Hawaii. We are Hawaii. -wee. So we're trying to go to one of the many beaches they we were recommended to go to but of course, we have a very delayed time to do stuff, and so it's lunch. They delayed everything. I'm very fast. Sure. He was still in his pajamas this morning. So anyway, we're trying. We need some food before we can sit on the beach and then get very hungry. So here, what? the easiest way is to that eat how is to find food trucks. We're gonna go try a food truck, which apparently is really good and makes shrimp tacos. More than one food truck, so we are trying to decide: do we want the actual fish taco or do we want just the shrimp? Taco. He doesn't know. I'm th I'm going for the shrimp, I think. And Luca's gonna have a hot dog. If you don't stop right away and you come and find it, there is more stuff that sell it. We're affected by a chicken. How bad could a chicken be? <laughs> the cool thing about eating at food trucks is everybody gets to eat what they want. Three of us ate at one food truck and the other two ate at the other one. Everybody's happy. Okay, the coolest thing just happened. We saw these people had this bakery box and we asked where the bakery was so we could get dessert. And they told us they got it in Waikiki, so it's like an hour away from where we are. And then... They nicely give us... One actually, of, they want to give us all of them. There were three of them. I said, no, 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 thank you so much. We're gonna try one. So when you are kind, kind people, gonna find you and see this happened and now we get to try this we're a kind magnet <laughs> you look like a magnet i'm one of a kind wow oh, i'm gonna try it first mm. pretty good it's like a just fried dough right yeah. like not a donut and it tastes even better because it was gifted with kindness right yeah oh my gosh i could have this all day so much sweeter it's like right, a bombalone now we go to the beach Okay, we're officially on the first beach. It's Waimea Bay. It looks like the waves are a little bit smaller here, so maybe the kids can swim a little bit. We went to another one, but the, the waves are really, really It's for surfers. Big. Yeah. So clearly not the best thing for them, but this is better. Let's go check it out. Plus, it was suggested to us from our friend Ray. Yeah. So he said this is his favorite place in the whole world. So, so we had to check it out. Yeah. Are you ready to go on the big plane? Big yeah.
Did you break it? Let me see that. Guys, he broke it! I'm out! What's in it? Oh, nothing. Oh. <laughs> because it's chocolate. Oh, it's chocolate coconut. Chocolate coconut. Ooh, and, yummy. And there's even water, but the whole bit down, so yeah. I don't know. We are on a new beach today. This is Kahana Bay. The whole purpose was for Mas to go, but it didn't work out. Look. Yeah, the weather is very cloudy. So for everybody that paraglides like him, like with the license, you should know that you need a permit to fly here. You can't just come out and go up the because mountain. Because most of the land, it's state park. You need to call this association and pay for the permit the and then you can go up and fly another thing you should know is Daddy, a but, it, but today, but today a coconut. it's not a good day to do but that today was a good thing because it started raining now. it's raining now another thing you should know oh. unfortunately a lot of people are not very respectful of hawaii in a lot of places when you go on hikes you should actually have a permit yeah because what happens is if you get in some kind of problem and you get stuck and come and rescue and then there's this very high ticket for the rescue fifteen thousand dollars and then what happens is not the tourist that pays but the people from hawaii so when we're visiting these beautiful islands we should really be very mindful both with the nature as well as when we go and explore. Sorry, I had to say that because there was a lot of Hawaiians that wrote messages about this and I thought it was important to share. So now we're waiting for the rain to make us run away. One more thing I have to show you is this new passion of Cosimo and he has collaborators today and he's making a turtle. turtle. What happened to the eyes? She, Emma, did, Emma destroyed it. Oh, now it's Emma's fault. Yeah. So yesterday he did an octopus, which was pretty impressive. Today everybody wants to help him and we're, he's working on his turtle. Before, Hopefully you can finish it before the rain comes because it's very close. It's not rain again. This is so different from the beach we were in the other day. Water is more peaceful. Less people. Many beaches everywhere here. It's officially raining. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna leave the turtle? Yeah, I guess so. Look! Look! It was almost done! Well, not really good doing that. I know, but Cosimo is not giving up. Oh my gosh, you finished it! Okay, guys, it's finished. Meet the turtle. Well, not really. I had to some other extra stuff, but that's not, okay. You're not gonna let me stay. No, we're not. So it's fun. Look fun. at this fun. beautiful. We just parked the car, and there's a very big banyan tree somewhere. Oh, there it is. So we came to see it. The cool thing is that we stop at to a farm to buy fruit, fresh fruit. We got pineapple, mango, coconut. It was really oh good. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, yeah, but look. Yeah, <laughs> my exact reaction. Don't you just prefer these trees? And they're like a bunch of trees working together to be one yeah. tree. Apparently this banyan tree is really famous because it was in Lost and it was in the Pirates of the Caribbean. So whoever watched these movies might probably will have seen it. <laughs> it's never ending. I don't think I've ever seen a banyan tree this big. Then if you keep on walking, it will take you to one of the many beaches. Rumors and trees. Go there! Killer dolphin. Emma, what if, they, <laughs> what if there was actually a killer dolphin? There's like a killer whale. You, you want some water? Oh, even better. Dun 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 dun.
I'm the pirate of a, a Caribbean. Town the beach with the turtle. Oh, just Did you see Luca? Alright, isn't this turtle, they look so similar. They do! <laughs> oh, don't they look similar, Luca? What do you think looks better, this turtle or that turtle? <laughs> But here there's the information of the turtles. So they put the rope around the turtle to, because people get a little excited and get a little too close. In the winter months, there's not as many because of the water making the, the rock too exposed so it's harder for them to get in. And they usually come when the waves are not too high. So too high, yeah. today the waves are lower and so there's some turtles. And there's two more we're gonna go see. So there's these volunteers that stay there and you can just ask them questions. That turtle we just saw was between 18 and 23. Not yet completely mature adult so they don't still can't recognize if it's a boy or a girl. But it's really big. Yes. Look at this. Very rocky here. Oh my gosh, I didn't even recognize it. Oh. Look at them. Look at how cute. One is uh, 22 or 27 years old. The male and the other one is 47 years old. I thought the una be a kid. Wow. She, well, she's younger than daddy, though. You know the age she said that some of them they're tracking them so <laughs> so they know and but how long they've been tracking them for um they're they, they can know their age and the male when their tail gets longer they can probably tell like maybe they're like 25 years of age or sometimes like when they're babies then like if they're tracking them from then that's like easier to do it so yeah oh and they 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 go set their babies at night, wake up at day, and then at night again, they go see their babies. And then she said there's like a, a 30, around 30 turtles that usually come there all the time. Wow. You know, you know those little birds? They're with the black head. So I think those birds over there are this one. Oh. This is as you would, See a cacao tree or a chocolate tree. So how they the, the cacao takes the, the cacao tastes horrible. 